And going back to our main story today, as it is Youth Day, Simpiwe Ngome Zulu joins us live from the Orlando Stadium. Simpiwe, uh, give us a little bit more of an update. Has the proceeding started as of yet? Uh, Simpiwe Ngome Zulu joins us live from the Orlando Stadium. Uh, Simpiwe, can you give us a bit of an update? Has the president arrived and uh, what time are we expecting proceedings to commence? Unfortunately, there seems to be a technical error there. We will go back to some Piwe as she becomes available. Uh, do you remember that today marks the 40th anniversary of the Soweto Uprising, fondly known as Youth Day. The 16th of June 1976 changed many lives, rewrote history and forever lives in many people's hearts. School-going pupils in Soweto decided to take a stand against Afrikaans as a medium of teaching and learning, as had been implemented by the apartheid government. Majority of high schools from around Soweto had organized to march to Orlando Stadium that morning, and they started converging and moving along the township from as early as 7 a.m. When the huge group of learners reached Orlando, uh, township police confronted them, but they would not be debted from their call. Police began by firing tear gas at the group and soon fired a gunshot. 14-year-old Hastings Nglovu was the first victim to be shot and killed by a police force on that historic day. His legacy in the fight for freedom will today be honoured by officially renaming a street in Orlando West to his name just a stone throw away from the Hector Peterson Memorial. Later in the day, President Jacob Zuma will officiate the main commemoration event of June the 16th at the iconic Orlando Stadium, set to be packed with learners from across the country. And we've got her back, Simpiwe Ngome Zulu, our ANN7 reporter, joins us live from the Orlando Stadium. Simpiwe, can you give us an update? At the Orlando Stadium, has the president arrived as of yet? The president is still yet to arrive. Harani, I would like to speak to you. We spoke about uh, some of the young achievers that will be acknowledged uh, by the president today um, for some of their groundbreaking work that they are doing. Um, now, joining me are two of these achievers, one being Jade Bowers, who is a young director and also a um, winner of a young uh, Standard Bank Artist Award. Uh, good morning to you, Jade. Uh, can you tell us how does it feel today to be amongst those who are going to be honored by the highest office in the country? It's indescribable um, to be honored by the highest citizen in the country is a re I can't even describe it to be um, acknowledged by the president of South Africa no matter what your pol political affiliations are is amazing and just the highest honor I could ever think of. Also, uh, just joining me is another achiever who's also um, been able to become the youngest CEO of in the country. Uh, that is the CEO of Bertha Kloa uh, Hospital in Germiston. Uh, good morning to you. Are uh, you doing great work? How does it feel for you to be acknowledged today by the president? It is humbling. Um, it is a great honor. Um, I think it was not expected, um, but I think something these things have been moving so fast for me that I've not been able to catch a breath and to just actually absorb it all. But it's really, really an honor to be um, acknowledged um, by the highest office in the country, um, the office of the president, um, of the president. And it makes me, it, it puts me about under pressure because uh, it means now I, everybody sort of knows where I am and that there's pressure for me to do well. Um, and I hope that my team understands that we are under very, um, immense pressure now because I think being young as a, as a young person people will be skeptical they will wonder will I do well will I do as well as the other people who are much older than me so there's there is the, a lot of that pressure and doc but I'm looking forward to the challenge and, and doctor what would be your a secret to success or perhaps advice it is youth day uh, many young people are going to be coming here hoping to receive some form of inspiration from people like you what would be your advice or secret uh, to success to the youth um, my 
mine is very simple. Whatever you do, do it with passion. Whatever you do, it, do it with all your heart. Um, don't look for money. Don't look for instant rewards. Um, it probably will come at some stage, but just go with your heart. And uh, tell us, um, we know that the arts are also a challenging industry with a lot of competition to be able to win various awards around the globe. Um, what is your secret to success? And how would you advise other young and upcoming youth who want to see themselves in the same position as you in the future? Uh, I think it really it's about the work. I think if you, again, if you put all of your passion and all of your soul into your art, good things will come. Um, and it's also all about the people around you. Uh, it's impossible to do these things without the most supportive family and the most supportive colleagues and friends and artists who give so much of themselves to you in order to make amazing work. And I think that's what today is about. Beyond, beyond just um, commemorating amazing youth who stood up for what they believed in today, 40 years later, in the place that they didn't reach, just that perseverance and to look at the youth of now, today, fighting for their same freedoms and looking at what they can do to change the way that our education system is working is inspiring beyond anything else I could imagine. Thank you very much. Uh, that was just uh, two of the achievers uh, that are going to be acknowledged today uh, by the President of the Republic, President Jacob Zuma. Of course, they have done amazing work in their various industry. Uh, they being uh, the youngest CEO in the country, uh, the CEO of Bethankawa, as well as an, an award-winning uh, director. They have received uh, various awards um, around uh, the world. Back to you in studio.